the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Down. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. This is week two of Rapid Fire Friday. TNT. Yo. Going to do quick hits. Story number one. Uh, the total net worth of the top 1% of the world uh, hit a record of $42 trillion in the quarter of 2024. It says, in, I didn't, this kind of shocked me. In order to be in the top 1%, you have to have wealth with over eleven million dollars. Okay, that seems awful low to me. To be in the top one percent, well, does it? I figure that millionaires are way rarer than you think. Yeah, but but eleven million dollars to be one of the top one percent richest people in the world—that seems. I feel like eleven million dollars is an obtainable goal. Do you? <laughs> Brother, I mean, I don't even have a million yet, but I mean, once Man, you get this is one, wild only- right now. All right, well, after you get your first eleven millions, Mister Obtainable, go. Why don't you work on mine? All right, fam. <laughs> well, if I got mine, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna try to be the top half percent. Right? Well, good, yeah. Then you can work on mine while you're achieving that goal. Once you got a mil- eleven million dollars, like the money's just rolling in at that point because you can make and you can afford to make risky investments. Yeah, and but if you make honest, too many risky investments, then you don't have any money. I mean, granted, but how many dumb investments could you get away with if you have... Like, if I want to put $250,000 into a, a coin, I can do and that. And then it goes 100 times, and you're like, oops, I made a bunch of money. Fun fact, if you have $11 million and you put it just in a savings account, exactly. 5% interest, you're making $550,000 a this year. This is what I'm saying, and that's what a lot of them do. Is they just live off of the interest? Because if I make five hundred thousand dollars a year just on interest alone, yeah, right. You know bro. what? So if you had two million cash, way more obtainable than eleven million. Sure. At five percent, that's a hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay. So you make two million, and then you just use that to get a hundred thousand dollars a year on interest. I could live off of that forever. Alone. Forever. Yeah, yeah, I could live off 100K a year. Yeah. Anyways. And so uh, they're coming out with a new Jeopardy. It's no. going to be on Netflix. Is it freaking Gen Z's up Jeopardy? It's pop culture Jeopardy. I and Colin Jost is going to be the host of it. All right. You know, honestly, Jonas, this is a good thing. Uh, Jeopardy has been a very, very old for a long time. Only old people watch it's, it. Dude, it's so hard. The questions they put on there, the average person don't know. Yeah. I mean, but it used to be good for, like, it was a good, legitimate, like, grounded quiz show where, like, people who consistently won, like the dude who won a billion episodes of it. Yeah, yeah, Ken, whatever, yeah. Like, yeah, like, he had some legitimate prestige because, like, it's like, you actually know your shit. I'm not a stupid person, and, like, I only know a handful of Jeopardy questions, like, when I watch. So what are they going to ask you on pop culture Like, Jeopardy? probably about, like, Marvel and music and stuff like that. <laughs> it's going to be like Jeopardy for teens. It really is. It's going to be the teen Jeopardy. Yeah, by the way, sure. by the way, touch grass added to the dictionary. What does that mean? What does touch grass I mean? I guess not. Yeah. Oh, I like go outside and touch grass. <laughs> yeah. It oh, just like, means, like, get off the internet, gotcha, go gotcha, outside gotcha. and engage okay. in normal yeah. activity behavior. Uh, Ohio has introduced a bill to allow cryptocurrency payments for state taxes and fees and to enable state institutions and pensions to invest in crypto. Thought that was interesting. That is At interesting. At the state level. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, ones are they accepting, though? Uh, I probably just, I mean, I would imagine Bitcoin and Ethereum. That'd probably be it. Yeah, um, those are the two main ones. I did see a thing, the 401k at my job, uh, not 401k at my job, the company that my 401k is through was going to start allowing Bitcoin in their 401ks, but my companies does not do it. Like, I wish they did. It'd be nice to, like, offset your 401k with a little bit of Bitcoin. That would be cool, but it doesn't. Mm. Uh, two sad deaths. Dikemi Mutombo. Wave that finger. You ain't getting by. How old was Dikembe? 58. 58 brain years brain cancer. Old. Rip Matumbo. Damn. Uh, and then Pete Rose, the uh, one of the, I mean, arguably the best baseball player of all time who is banned for gambling on the sport and cannot be in the Hall of Fame. He gambled that. on his own team. To win. To win. Yeah. Insane. As a manager, yeah. As a man. Insane. I'm sorry. You gamble on your own team to win. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't know. I, it, what? <clears throat> it, it opens the box, but I think it does open. The I box. do it's think that slope. if you want to, if you're a professional sports player and you want to bet on yourself, that should not be illegal. 
Like, you should be able to be like, we're going to win today and bet any money you want. Because if you say you're going to lose, then you can say you're throwing the game. But if you say you're going to win, you're only going to try harder to win. Like, you're not going to do anything to lose. So I don't see why I don't see, but if it does open up a weird, it does, or you bet on your buddy's team like to win, you know, it's like mm. it does, yeah, it does. It's weird. It is weird. Um, so I, I guess they should keep it out. But on the same note, I don't think he should be removed from the Hall of Fame because yeah. of it. No, he never was. He's got banned for baseball, so he can't be in. Yeah, but he should be. Oh, he should be. He has more hits than anybody else. He's he has the he's all time hit leader in baseball ever. Over under on them inducting him now that he's passed. Ooh, better chance than he had alive. Fair enough. Uh, so I thought this was very funny. So the game Dragon Age, been around a long time. There's numerous iterations. Yeah, I've played a few of them. Uh, so basically, I guess you were able to create a trans character in the game. Yeah, and, I heard about and, this. And people were very upset about it. Why? Because people hate trans for some reason. I don't I'm know. I'm not a but fan. they put a statement of out those people? on their... What? Who hate trans oh, people? Okay. You let me finish the sentence. Yeah, That's fine. Like, you're like, I'm not a fan. I was like, wait. No, no. Um, they put out. I don't know. If it's, I think it's a tweet. It says, "Hey gamers, we have heard your feedback regarding the option to make a trans character in Dragon Age: The Veil Guard. To show that we care, we have removed the option to be trans going forward." Sure. All characters are trans by default, and they cannot be changed. Nice. <laughs> so, people were, so, so people were comparing, complaining. That's so now hilarious. every character is trans, and they all have to be. That's awesome, dude. I thought that was hilarious. That's I'm like, oh, you want to you want to complain? That's fine. We'll just we'll just make that's everybody. Trans. That's a Mojang level of freaking hand waving. <laughs> uh, I love that. This is a weird story. So there was a guy in prison. Uh, he. They were in a in a prison and they brought some uh, sexual predators, sex offenders into the into the jail. Uh oh. He I heard literally about this too. told the guards, I am not stable. I'm gonna do something bad if you do not get these guys out of here. And they did not, and he ended up beating them both to death. Yep. And then literally was just like, Yeah, I did it. Like see, now look, man. Look. You shouldn't kill people. No. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you shouldn't. There's that. No. You, you also shouldn't. shouldn't commit sexual crimes. Um, but beyond that, you probably shouldn't kill people. Yeah. You know. You know so, I agree. I'm not. I'm not going to agree with this guy. Um, and hopefully, but it ain't the first time you heard about prison justice. It's not the first time. If you, if you but do I don't agree with kids or women in jail, you were like the lowest of the low. It is, man. It's it's a. Mm, Mm, is it unfortunate? I, it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate because they're there to serve their time for their crimes, um, just as much as anybody else. Um, granted, their still crimes a packing are order in prison, man. Yeah, I, I that's and I almost feel like they should just have like certain areas that are just designated for those types of individuals because of the stigma attached with them, yeah. warranted or not, whatever you yeah, feel. About yeah, yeah, it. yeah. No, I feel but, yeah. And then finally, <clears throat> finally. Happy Gilmore 2 is going to come out on Netflix only. Oh, my God. Oh, wait a minute. It's a Netflix and straight to DVD release? Straight to Netflix. No, Netflix is one step above straight to DVD, okay? Because we don't have straight to DVD releases anymore. Shh. Don't tell Adam Sandler When's that. When's the last time? They probably gave that man a boatload of money. I that. mean, yeah, they did, but it's still straight to DVD release. It is. I uh, they used to get a boatload of money for the straight to DVD releases because hundred people would go out and buy them all the time. Or I will watch it, but I'm gonna hate every second of it because anything yeah. Adam Sandler's done in the last 15 years, mm -hmm. it's been a a, a kid friendly cash grab. Um, it sounds like you're gonna get more of the same. Now the thing is, is that Netflix does actually have some good curated uh, original content. Some of so. the some of the Netflix yeah. original movies are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finding Stone Ocean a bit of a slog, but there's been a lot of stuff, so there's a chance that it could be good. But... I've been watching some of their documentaries. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. The they had this one about ring. Ashley Madison, like the cheating website. That was interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. was it. Was like a three episode. -er. It was it was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. So happy Gilmore too. Well, anyways, that was the second rapid fire Friday. I don't know how many of them we're gonna do, uh, but uh, maybe that'll be a thing. We'll see. If not, it won't. So let's keep your keep you on your toes here at the crazy town. <laughs>
Uh -huh. Right, TNT, tell them. What? <laughs> Don't try to put me on. If you want to keep the energy going, you get it up there and keep it up there yourself. All right? Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. We'll see you next week for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.